Hey yo, so this is the Neuro Desktop Editor software for source audio pedals and such. So I wanted to go in depth and give you an idea of kind of how to use it to do stuff. It's pretty simple. Uh, let's see. So when you got your pedals, let's see, I have two here. I have the delay and the reverb. And when you have them, uh, they both have USB ports on the back of them and you just plug it into the computer and then you open Neuro Desktop and it can see and you can edit the pedals. So one interesting trick is if you have multiple pedals like I do, you can plug all of the USB connections into like a little USB hub. Uh, I think it was like 10 bucks or something on Amazon maybe. And so if you plug all that in there at once and then you just plug into the hub, then it can actually see everything connected to the USB with one cable, which is pretty handy. So I have a mastermind on my board as well, which also connects via USB. So I have all three of those going into a hub, the hub going to a connector on the side of my board. So if I plug a cable into the side of my board like it is now, I can see both of these things and I can see the mastermind, which is super handy. So it's nice about kind of living in the same ecosystem with all your stuff. So when you connect uh, and you open up Neuro Desktop and you have your pedals connected, they'll all show up here. Uh, this first little icon is for firmware updates. So if it has a new one, that will highlight and it'll show yellow. Um, but in case you wanted to check, you could always click it and it says, you know, you already have the update. You can manually select a file if you want, blah, 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 um, which is pretty handy. Um, and then if you click on either one of the devices, it'll automatically show you your list of presets on the right here. You can scroll through all of them um, either way and kind of see what all you have. Um, so if you click this little gear right here, it's gonna give you um, options specific to the pedal. You can set MIDI channel, like if you want trails, kill dry mode, that kind of stuff. The options vary per pedal, just depending on what they are, foot switch control, that kind of thing. And then if you click over here, you get the, uh, the, the little wrench, gives you all the things for <laughs> whatever preset you're on. Um, and if you click this one, you'll see multiple things will give different tabs up here. So you can just go back and forth between delay and reverb, and it'll automatically populate the list with what you have. Um, so one thing that I really like about the software is that everything's real time. So if you're connected to the pedal and you want to make edits in here, um, or you're already making edits in here, anything you do in here will update on the pedal in real time. So if you're playing, guitar along with this screen being up like if i change you know feedback like if i move this knob up a bunch it'll change in real time on the pedal which is awesome same with presets like if i just click a different preset you'll see all the knobs like change around just as i you know jump around from one preset to another um which is all really handy uh, and it's the same with the reverb and all that stuff so um tons of options uh that's what i like about it you can edit every parameter and then and then some <laughs> even parameters that aren't on the device you can reassign parameters to the device all that stuff um, quickly the menus um, in the device menu you can reset creating a device backup is really easy um, it takes like two seconds and you just pick a place on your computer to store it uh, if you have these pedals you would love yourself if you backed up once in a while uh, i've been grateful that uh, I backed up, I think it was like a month ago, and then something happened and everything exploded and I wasn't really left up a creek, which is nice. Um, editing the MIDI map can be helpful too. Like if you're using a MIDI controller, like a mastermind or whatever, you can edit the list of CC commands um, and what number they are and make sure that they match what you're trying to do, which is awesome. Um, you can do that with both. Um, and then inside view, the only interesting thing in here is uh, it also has an offline device editor. So I don't own any of these other things, but let's say I was interested in like the C4 synth or whatever. I can load an offline version of that and it'll show me, oh, well, this is all the crap I can edit if I were to get a C4 synth, which looks like a lot because um, it always is. And so you can always, uh, that's a great way to like, if you don't have anything connected, you could just download the desktop editor for free from their website. And then you could get in here and, you know, pick an offline device and be like, what does the True Spring Reverb look like in terms of 
stuff. It's a lot for a, you know, spring weaver. Um, and then just close the stuff when you're done. So um, anyway, hopefully that's a pretty good idea of how to use the editor. It's really easy. It's pretty intuitive. You can import and export uh, single presets as well. Makes it easy to share presets with other people. Um, there's a whole service you can log into and you can share presets kind of with like the cloud or the community or whatever, uh, which is awesome. So tons of options and it's really easy to use. So that is the Neuro Desktop Editor. And I will put a link straight to where you can download it if you want to. So hopefully that's helpful. And you can subscribe if you would like to spend more in-depth time with some stuff in the guitar world. That's it. See ya.